Hey Taurus, happy birthday, happy birthday season, you guys. I hope you are enjoying your birthday season. And here we go, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in, Taurus. What's going on with you this week? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit for Taurus, for Taurus. Here we go. Seven of Wands is here, okay? For Taurus, we have the Three of Swords. Oh, okay. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. So it feels like someone is trying to get through to you. It feels like a message. When we have the Knight of Pentacles, Three of Swords, someone has something to tell you, okay? It may not come out the best way. With the Seven of Wands, someone may be stubborn or arrogant or a bit demanding, okay? When you get the energy of the Seven of Wands with the Three of Swords, you may be protecting yourself when it comes to the seven of wands it's a guard up okay so you may be protecting yourself when it comes to your heart three of swords and this could be against another earth sign <clears throat> three of swords it could be an air sign or a fire sign okay but let's see let's get into it what is this energy we have the nine of cups at the bottom of the deck nine of swords uh ooh, is it a virgo for some of you page of swords Lots of sword energy coming out. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Five of Cups back here. Ten of Pentacles. Someone wants to know if you want long term with them. Two of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles. Five of Cups. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Someone has a lot of regrets for something that could have been very long term. Yeah. Wanting more information on you, Page of Swords, could be curious, watching, spying, Getting more information on you. Someone cannot sleep, staying up late. Nine of Swords worried. Nine of Cups because they desire this. Someone could be up late drinking as well. Nine of Swords with the Nine of Cups represents drinking late. Staying up could be watching you on the internet as well when, when it comes to the Page of Swords. Okay. Oh, what is going on for Taurus this week? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, Seven of Wands. Show me. We have the Five of Swords. Okay. King of Wands, Fire Sign Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone is very ambitious here, thinking of a strategy to communicate something. Okay, Ace of Swords, what do they want to say? Eight of Wands, messages coming in. Okay, what? Knight of Wands, someone could want to see you or want to, I feel like, <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting make out with you. Like someone wanting to make out or kiss you or be intimate with you. Knight of Wands. Ooh. Five of Pentacles. Someone is missing you. <clears throat> Ooh. Okay. Who is this person? What's going on? Judgment. Okay. Someone possibly from your past. It could be an Aries for some of you. Okay. I was getting strong fire sign with that King of Wands coming out. For some of you, it could be an ex, an ex-husband ex-wife when you get the energy of the emperor okay or someone who was in your life at one point someone who held a lot of significance at one point in your life will of fortune wanting a future okay seven of pentacles but someone is stuck in the past with the seven of pentacles stuck someone could be wanting to invest in a future with you Okay, wanting to step up, going from the King of Wands, Knight of Wands energy, possibly becoming an emperor for you. This is something that this person could be thinking about right now. It could be a Leo with strength at the bottom of the deck, but something is difficult here. Oh, okay. Okay, Taurus. Oh, this is your energy, Harfont. It could be difficult for you to want to give anything to this person, Six of Swords, yeah, you could be walking away from this person and this person is like confronting you, wanting to talk to you, confront you, trying to be brave or courageous for you. Okay. What's this three of swords for Taurus this week? Ten of swords. Someone is hurting here. There's a lot of hurt. Three of cups, possibly because someone wants to reconcile. Eight of swords. Oh. You may be afraid that this person uh, would have you in a third party or you that may be a fear of yours, okay? That this person would put you in a third party from how they used to behave in the past. For some of you, and for some of you, this person is like trying to tell you that they're changed. 
or they, they've gone through some type of change, a drastic change. I did see a progression. That's why I was saying King of Wands, Knight of Wands, and then someone tries to step up to be an emperor, but they could be running out of time to do this or to show you or to prove to you that they've changed. Show me Nine of Swords. This is their fear or their stress, their worry. Hang man, this is something that they stay stuck in, staying stuck in that state of mind of stress, anxiety, worry over this. Knight of Pentacles, show me. Hermit, it could be a Virgo that you're dealing with. King of Pentacles. Ooh, okay. Nine of Pentacles. Someone could be growing their money right now. For some of you wanting to, because seeing you as the Nine of Pentacles, it may put a little bit of intimidation in this person or or they may feel intimidated rather. Um, deep down with the Hermit, yeah, they're thinking about a lot to themselves and then King of Pentacles wanting to be that person for you, but this person may feel like a Knight of Pentacles. Remember the Knight came out first. So someone may be trying to grow their money to impress you, wanting to impress you financially. Okay, let's see. How is Taurus feeling? Okay, what is that? Ooh, stingy. Okay, stingy with your love. Holding back. You're keeping your cards like very close to your chest, playing your cards close, okay? Not revealing much. How is Taurus feeling about this person? <clears throat> Queen of Swords. Ooh, Ice Queen. You kind of have your guard up when it comes to communication, not really wanting to communicate with this person. Five of Wands, because you feel like there's going to be some type of argument or conflict or there's tension between you and this person. How's Taurus feeling? Ten of Wands, you feel like it's a burden. You may feel overwhelmed when it comes to your emotions for this person. So whoever this person is, Taurus, they stress you out. Whoever they are, they're very stressful to you. Okay, Ten of Wands with the Queen of Cups. Give me one more for Taurus. Nine of Wands. Whew. You have Five of Wands, Ten of Wands, Nine of Wands. These are cards that just stress people out, weigh you down. You're tired of dealing with this person or the situation. What is this person's intentions for Taurus? Their intentions, please. For Taurus, Ace of Wands. Whew. Passionate, attracted to you. Lovers, they're in love with you wanting to make love, wanting <clears throat> to connect with you sexually. This person fantasizes about you a lot. They're on fire for you with the lover's energy there. But Four of Swords is here as well. This person is like heartbroken, feeling, I feel like despondent or feeling distant from you as well. Page of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Their biggest desire is to communicate with you. Page of Pentacles, they want to talk. Nine of Cups, they want to talk to you possibly over drinks or wanting to have a good time with you, wanting to talk about the like the past, like when things were good between the two of you. That's what they want to talk about or wanting to get to the good part. The world, wanting a start over, do over. Yeah, this person wants a do over with the world card. Three of Pentacles, let's meet up, let's sit down, let's talk it out, let's work it out. Yeah, potential outcome for this week. For this week, between Taurus and this person, the sun is here. Leo's energy, two of swords. Yeah, someone could be struggling with their happiness. Like, can, can this work? Can we be happy? They're not sure. Someone is having a hard time seeing the light at the end of the tunnel when it comes to this connection. There it is. Someone is extremely sad here with the energy of the five of cups. When you get the sun and the two of swords, someone is like, will we ever be happy together? Can we be happy? Five of cups, depressed and feeling very sad. And this person is feeling, I feel isolation. I feel that, that word coming through, isolated, isolation. Okay. Someone is feeling sad, like this will never work out. Okay. Anything else that Taurus should know? Anything else? Two of Wands. So it's up to you. It's your decision to make uh, what path you want to go down with this person um, and what you want to tell them, okay? What's your final answer with this person with the Two of Wands, okay? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, any advice for Taurus this week? Advice. There's something better. Wow. 
spirit is letting you know. So you guys, if you've been dealing with this situation with this person for a while, there is something better coming in and spirit will guide you toward that better once you close out this cycle. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, wait, just wait on it. <clears throat> Because there's something better for you. Any other advice or insight for Taurus this week? Advice, insight for Taurus? Support. Wow. It says, ask for help, Taurus. Get more rest and nurture yourself. Wow. Let me read that again. Support. Support yourself, okay? Ask for help. Get more rest and nurture yourself this week, okay? Any other advice or insight for Taurus this week? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, any other advice or insight? Self-indulgence, that goes along with support. Focus on self, your self-worth. Time to heal, Taurus. Shadow work, self-appreciation. Take yourself out. Go out on a, a self-date, okay? Me time. Invest in yourself this week. Don't put yourself on the back burner and continue supporting other people while letting yourself go to the wayside or fall by the wayside. Invest in yourself, Taurus. Love on yourself. Alrighty, that is your energy, Taurus. Don't forget to like, to share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. Take care. Bye.